Welcome to the E39 Source Channel. Ryan Schultz here with the uh, production February of 2000 M5. Uh, I'm making this video about the dead pixels on the cluster that unfortunately plague the E39 and the E38 and the first generation uh, X5, which I think is the E53. Uh, so we're doing this here at night. We can more easily read the pixels inside. Um, having the issue fixed tomorrow. I am going to start the car so we can actually see the pixels firsthand, what they look like right now. And there we go. That is supposed to say fasten seat belts. And we can kind of read that it does. There's the mileage, 158670. Even the BMW dealer around here has screwed that up and made that 8 to 3. Um, so that's been a problem. The miles for the trip odometer, that zero looks like a C. We can kind of read that it is 41 degrees out here. If I were to start cycling through the uh, different parts of this display here, there's the button. Uh, what is that even supposed to say? I, I don't even know. Speed. Anyways, you know the problem. You're here watching the video because you probably have the problem. So what can be done about it? You can replace the whole cluster from BMW. They don't actually make this anymore. So you'd have to pay for a new one, which would be around $2,000. That's a lot of money to spend on a cluster like this. If you work with BMW North America, go find their phone number. Give them a call and explain your problem. Tell them that you can't read the mileage, that you cannot read your your warning lights. You know, this little display down there where it says time right now, if you had a problem and it needed to come on and say check brake linings or engine temperature overload or whatever it says down there, you couldn't actually read it. And that was the problem I was having. So I called BMW North America. I explained the issue about the car. They asked for, of course, year, make, model, uh, my address, all that information. So give them that. They then want proof of ownership of the car. So you have to fax them the registration, the title, information as such. Then they contact BMW uh, headquarters probably and see if you can be part of the free will that BMW has given a lot of people on this car. It took about two weeks for them to get back to me and I was notified that they would be willing to pay 75% of the parts. I cover the labor, they take the parts. So I thought that was a pretty decent deal. deal. So I ended up calling my local BMW dealer, Dave Walter BMW in Akron, Ohio, told it to them, got a quote. My quote was $491. That would be 25% of the parts and all of the labor, which is about one hour. I am sick and tired of not being able to read this, one, and two, uh, it's only going to get worse over time. So I told them to go ahead and do it. I'm going in tomorrow at 2 o'clock to, uh, to sit here with the car for probably an hour, hour and a half and get the entire cluster displayed, uh, replaced. I'm gonna turn on the LED light here on the iPhone 4S, and we'll see that I have the black gauges in here, since this is a pre-facelift E39. I love the black gauges. I think it's a really classic look. It really accentuates the uh, metal trim around the odometer, and or around the speedometer, tachometer, temperature gauge, and gas gauge. Uh, plus the contrast of the lettering is much nicer. Unfortunately, I have about a 95% chance that I'm going to get a gray one tomorrow. Uh, but if you're familiar with the interior of this car, I have the uh, aluminum trim and these seats with uh, the inserts. So it will match my car. The exterior color is Silverstone Metallic. So it will look good. I, I just don't know if I'm going to like it as much as what I have now. But I would rather have gray dials and, um, and, a, and a working display that I can actually read all of the information on. Uh, it's ridiculous. If I were to cycle through my radio stations, it, I've never understood what it says, but it comes up and it says something. Uh, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm going to have that done, and I'll make another clip then. I'll let you know what it costs, and I'll show you the results. All right, welcome back to uh, this little video series here about the pixelation issue. I had the car in today for just under one hour and 30 minutes. I dropped it off at 2 o'clock. I left at about uh, 3.20 or so. And I got this cluster installed here. You can see that it is indeed the facelift version, which is gray. Um, obviously, the park brake is engaged. And my seatbelt's not on, so that's what those two lights are. Um, I've always had the black model in this, in this car, as you saw in the video that I shot last night. But you know what? I like this a lot better than I thought I would. It looks really nice. The contrast against the uh, the the trim around the gauges looks really awesome. And then, of course, with the rest of the uh, the black 
background there. I think it stands out a little more and, and definitely looks good with the trim that this car has. As far as the pixelation issues go here, they are completely corrected. As far as I can see, everything works flawlessly as, uh, as I would expect. Um, and hopefully it goes more than what some people have had with these units that only go 40,000 miles. But my old one, 158, 600 and something. So uh, definitely not too bad. Uh, my total bill, I'm going to grab that here make sure there's not any information that's too important to, uh, to film here. Uh, but the total price with the 75% off from BMW North America was 490.56. You can see 30 of that was sales tax, 170 for labor, and 264 for parts. Um, the rest of the information on here, I, I don't think, will help you, um, and it doesn't have any information that affects me on it. But you can see that BMW NA is going to do 75%. You might get some part numbers off this sheet. I'm going to try not to film too much as there's. Uh, a good amount of my information on there. Um, one other thing, if you're doing the same thing, upgrading from the pre-September of 2001 to this unit, uh, you may notice that the turn signal sounds are different. I'll see if we can hear anything. I'll turn off the uh, climate control here in the car. I don't even know if the microphone's going to pick it up. But it sounds a little bit newer. It sounds a little bit less mechanical, and it's more of a digital sound, so that's no problem. Pixels are fixed. Yes, it's a high price, but we're driving a very nice car. So that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions regarding the, the service that I had done here or anything else regarding the car, um, please make a video response. Send me an email, ryan at techinform.us, or find me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. Again, thanks, and I hope this helped some of you uh, in contacting BMW North America and resolving your issue.